Hey, how's it going? And today I want to show you something that I call direct sequencer to blueprint communication. So this is what we're going to do is we're going to first create a blueprint to communicate with. And so I'm going to right click, go to blueprint actor. I'll just leave it called new blueprint. I'm going to double click into it. I'm going to dock it. I'm going to come here and I'm just going to add a static mesh. And I'll just pick this arcade sphere. I'm just going to pull out and we're just going to compile and save this. That's all we're going to do. The next thing we're going to do. Oh, and then we're just dragging it onto the scene like this, the sphere. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to right click and create a level sequence. Whoops. Here, we're going to double click into it we're with the BP or their new blueprint selected in the scene. I'm going to come here to track, go actor to sequence, new blueprint. And then here I'm going to go to an event trigger, select that. And then I'm just going to add a keyframe here on the track. Now watch what happens when I double click on this keyframe. It takes me into the director blueprint sequencer events, but notice that it's a specific event and it has this pin coming off. So what this means is that I have access to all the variables inside of this blueprint. So for instance, if I look over here and we see simulate physics, I can come over here and drag over here and go set simulate physics right here. So I can just trigger this like that and click there, hit compile and save. Now, if let's say I go in here, I, I should just be able to hit play and the ball should drop. So let's, oh, let me get the sequencer and drag it into the scene. I put auto play on and when I hit play, the ball should just drop. See? Now to know that that's coming from the sequencer, what we can do is come back in here and click and drag this down a few frames, maybe like 30 frames. And now I hit play. Now it's going to hang in the air. Well, it should have hung in the air. Oh, 30 frames is only about a second. So let me, let me drag this down. Uh, three seconds that should be so watch hit play see three seconds anyway I hope you found this helpful I'll be doing a tutorial very soon about how we can use this functionality